Okay, how, we're here in St. Andrews with uh, Mr. Rick Mercer with the Mercer Report. How are you doing, Rick? <laughs> thank I'm you for great. Thank you for uh, agreeing to uh, be interviewed by us or oh, by me. This is uh, this is one of the best days ever, and it's just getting better. It's, that's that. Now that I'm here with you. <laughs> Well, we've had a great day out on the water, haven't we? Oh boy, did we ever. You know what? I, uh, I, I'm, I, I think I have the best job in the country. I get to travel all over the country. I get to do so many kind of crazy things. At least half the time, I pinch myself because I'm so lucky. But today really does stand out. That was something. Those right, right whales, we saw tons of right whales. And you tell me they're, they're very rare. Well, there's only how many? Well, there's, uh, Mo Brown was saying 450 to 500 of them, I guess. And we must have seen 100 today. Well, we saw quite a few. Yeah, that's Maybe we saw some twice. Uh, well, it's, it's possible, but uh, you had a great, uh, a great day in that we had the weather and mm -hmm. you're complaining about the heat and so on. Uh, ben I wasn't <laughs> complaining about the heat. He got upset because I wouldn't wear pants inside <laughs> the head-to-toe flotation device. Correct? Correct. He insisted that I wear pants, and then I just didn't wear the pants. We'll be dry cleaning that one and making sure that the next yeah. person has. Uh, I had shorts on. I should hope so. Yes, of course. <laughs> but anyways, it was a beautiful day. We saw lots of whales, and they were mating. Couldn't be better. They were really mating, too, because I'm an expert now, and I just might as well tell you. The right whale, it's rare, and the way it happens is the female calls the males, and like five to seven to ten males show up, and they all basically have a cuddle puddle they get it on and uh, and we got to see that which is astounding it because was. that many whales that close it was amazing it was amazing and you're here in southwestern New Brunswick uh, helping to promote the wonders of the Bay of Fundy in a way yes uh, and you'll be showing uh, some of the video you shot today and also up in St. John I believe Could you tell us a bit about that uh, well we went to St. John and we did the reversing falls yep. and uh, the premier of the province came on the show and uh, we put him in the in the jet boat there with this fellow who I don't know where he got his license but it <laughs> seems to Mark. be out <laughs> Mark seems to be outrageously dangerous he told you he built the boats himself too yes design them himself and you know anyways he gets in these jet boats these super powered jet boats and just does insane things in in the river which you know psychologically you just think oh my god we're going to die because you see these giant rapids and you assume there's rocks under there that's generally how rapids are caused except there's no rocks so you can just barrel into them if you have a giant jet boat and a pilot like mark and uh, so we did that and that was good and we got the premier wet and uh, that was good. I always liked that. And, uh, and so it was great. And as part of this initiative, of course, to have the Bay of Fundy declared as uh, one of the seven natural wonders of the world. And, uh, you know, the Bay of Fundy being the only Canadian natural wonder that's still on the list, uh, I think it's perfect for us to kind of encourage, you know, everyone in the country to get behind it because it's our Bay of Fundy. You know, it is, no matter where you're from, just like it's our Rocky Mountains. Well, on a, on a serious note concerning that, what we saw today really does make the Bay of Fundy look like an unbelievably spectacular spot. Oh yeah, I think that, uh, you know, the jet boating is, uh, is thrilling and it's exciting and I certainly would, you know, I would tell anyone in a heartbeat who is, you know, visiting St. John, take your kids out and do the jet boat because it's, it's, it's a fast, fun, inexpensive, great thrill. Um, but today, what we saw is, like, it's truly wondrous. I mean, we, it was, at one point, it was like, you know, Misha, who came out on the show, Misha Bruger gosman who came out on the boat with me. I mean, we're talking, it's like, psh, oh, there's a whale. And then, <laughs> and then I'm talking, psh, it's like the whales are interrupting my interview. There's too many whales. That's a pretty good problem to have. So where are you based out of? Are you based out of uh, the Maritimes? Are you in Toronto? Where I'm are in you? Toronto. I'm originally from St. John's, Newfoundland. And then I, I moved to uh, Nova Scotia as a young man and did... Um, uh, 22 minutes for eight years and made in Canada and then as a slightly less younger man I moved to Toronto to do this show and we went to Toronto uh, so we could get out of Toronto because um, we don't actually shoot in Toronto that much we do our sketches there in our live live portion of our show but I wanted a show that would show all of Canada every week and so I needed to be somewhere where I could be in you know St. Andrews by the sea and then a couple of days later, I could be in, you know, in British Columbia. And so we went to Toronto to be in the center. So what's a, a typical week for you? You're down here for a couple of days, but are you back to Toronto to do the studio work for yeah. the show? Yeah, uh, the typical week we start like on, uh, well, if, you know, we just generally don't stop. I mean, it's, it's Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. We're on the road. Wednesday at 3 o'clock, we have to be back. Thursday, 
I tape sketches, Friday I do a live show, and nine times out of ten we get up the next morning and go to the airport. So, uh, do Newfoundlanders tell Newfoundlander jokes? No. And we don't listen to them either. So why? <laughs> I wasn't going to tell any. Good. <laughs> but you don't find so, Newfoundlander jokes funny? Well, you, you know what, when you're, when, the times have changed, you know, when you, when you, I was growing up, like the Newfie joke was always, the punchline was the Newfie was the stupid guy, and that used to drive us nuts. But you know, times have changed. It's like it was like we were also the poorest province, and everyone made fun of us, and they thought we talked funny. And Not we any still, longer. We still talk funny, but now we have so much money, we don't care. <laughs> like the province is loaded. I mean, I don't live there anymore, but it's great to see. You get back much? Your family there? Yeah, my parents are still there, and I get back uh, as often as I can. You know, uh, usually I'm there at Christmas, and uh, I get back over the summer, and yeah, you know what it's like. It's like it's in your bones, and uh, I mean, well, I mean. All of Atlantic Canada is, to a certain extent, it's like I feel like I'm coming home just getting out of the water today, but uh, but you know what it's like. I mean, I, I want to be like on the east coast of the Avalon Peninsula where I grew up, but I don't get to that often. You ever be, go whale watching out there? Yeah, down in Petty Harbor with the O'Briens, and they've got a great operation, and uh, uh, they're not Zodiacs. They might have Zodiacs now. It's been a while since I've been out with them, but uh, they've got a great operation, and uh, you know, every time I've been out or sent people out, they've always had a good time. But you know yourself, and I'm sure you know this, that I, anytime I've sent people whale watching, I mean, nine times out of 10, they see whales because they're going in season or whatever. But if they don't see a lot of whales, they have a great time anyway, especially if they're civilians who aren't used to being out in boats and being on the ocean and all that stuff. They have a great time. Now, just one last question. What's, the, what's been your, of all the stunts you've done, uh, we saw you on the CN Tower just a, a week ago, I guess. And out of all those stunts and fun, exciting things, what's, what's been the most exciting for you? I think um, I, I took Rick Hansen bungee jumping. I've seen it, yes. And uh, that was, uh, not that I'm the kind of guy who would normally bungee jump, but it was a thrill for me because Rick Hansen was always like a personal hero of mine. And, you know, it's, it's always dicey to meet people that you respect, but you honestly don't know, like an artist, for example, because, or a musician, because they could just turn out to be a bit of a jerk or whatever. But if it's a musician, who cares? But uh, I was a bit nervous about meeting Rick Hansen because I had such respect for him, and he turned out to be a much more impressive person than I ever could have imagined. And uh, it was a beautiful day, and I got to strap a bungee cord to his wheelchair and push him off the edge. And I couldn't believe I was doing that, and it was such a fun bit. So that's that was a that was a that's a big highlight for me. How do you get people to do these? You know, he's he's going over the edge, yelling, "I can't feel my legs," and you've got uh, Bob. He was tough. Bob Ray naked jumping into the water. How Bob do you get Ray people wasn't to, tough. How do you Bob get Ray people to do these like things that. for you? I said to Bob Ray, I said, Bob, because it was a leadership race. I said, Bob, you know, we didn't catch any fish. This was the problem. You know, we went on a fishing trip. So imagine it would be like if we went on a whale watching watch, right? and we didn't see any whales. So we were in, in the soup. And I said, we gotta, we gotta change the channel here. We gotta, we gotta make up for the fact that we didn't, didn't catch a single fish. And I said, we gotta get naked and jump to this lake. And uh, it was like the fall too, it was freezing. From Northern Ontario. And he said, I'm running for the leadership of the Liberal Party of Canada. Why would I get naked and jump in this lake? And I said, Bob, trust me, if you get naked and jump in this lake, you will beat Michael Ignatieff. And then like five <laughs> seconds later, he was pants off going, all right, where do I stand? Trout, Simple trout as that. down. Yeah. Well, Rick, thank you very much for uh, for talking with me and uh, and sharing your thoughts with uh, the St. Andrews community on our community channel here. Well, thank you. Great thanks very thank much. Very it was much. a great boat ride, and uh, thanks for all the whales. Thank it was you very awesome. much.